All right, good morning. Uh, I'm sitting in uh, Minnesota, uh, waiting to get loaded. So in the meantime, I thought I'll go on and rebuild the coolant diverter valve for my truck while I have time. Uh, here I have the solenoid here. Part number for that, if you need that. And then we have the rebuild kit. And that's the part number for that. All right, so I'm gonna open it up, and lay all the parts out. So we know what all we got. I have that seal ring, this gasket deal here, a spring. We got the little solenoid. course we have this which we had trouble with getting out the other one and then you have a couple of metal brass in there and uh, two rubber seals so all right so now we're gonna take these four bolts back off and open her up If you guys remember how it looked before on the inside, all right, but it was I got it all cleaned and everything. We know that this spring right here on the old one just sat right here in the middle, so we got that there. And we had this right here that, you know, we cleaned that up. So, we know that this here, the spring goes in, the spring here goes in here. Okay, we're going to take one of our little black seals here and put it right here back over this brass deal. Just press it around and it'll basically go in place. And we take our O ring seal here and adjust the camera. sit it in the little groove all right, make sure it's not folded make sure it's flush all the way around all right then you take this here make sure this little cut deal here, this little slit there, fits right here. So it goes just like this. Just sit it right here. Make sure the holes are lined up where the bolts go. Take your spring here, sit on top of it. Take your plate, sit on top of it. Yeah, so I can sit it up here. All 
right? Put the four bolts back in. around here somewhere. There it is. need to get our little tool and tighten her up and make, put it uh, the correct torque specs so we got four bolts back on there of course we put the majority of the kit back in there now we're going to take the whole solenoid off sit that to the side all right now we're going to replace the shaft here Set that to the side. All right, we'll take the new one. Set that in. So just sit this in here. New spring. Sit that in there, just like that. Just sit the new shaft there on top. Screw it on. All right. And then you take the new solenoid. Set it down. It's only one way to go on there. If you try to put it on the other way, it'll get stuck. It won't go all the way. See? So it'll only go one way. And you take your bolt from the old or from your diverter valve. Don't misplace this, lose it, or whatever. Don't, because you have to use this again. They won't supply this in your kit. Set it on there, and you've got a rebuilt cooling diverter valve for a C15 A cert. Of course, I'll go back and tighten up everything and get the proper specs on it. But that's basically how you rebuild your cooling diverter valve. All right, well, that's all I have for it today. You guys, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on another video.